Alright guys, I just want to give you a quick little update. The tilapia are officially all dead. So, I went and got these, uh, these little suckers. They're in the tilapia family. They're called cichlids. I'm not sure the variety, but I've got two of these little things. There's the other one. But, um, I'm going to keep getting more of them. These only get about four inches. And I'm not going to use them for eating. Didn't work out. And you don't have to have the water temperature so high. It's like 72, 20, 72 and 82, which is going to be good for the summer coming up. And so for right now, they're growing all these plants, which isn't probably going to work too good, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, right now, everything's growing like crazy, but you can see on some of these tomato plants. They're getting deficiencies for not enough food. I think it's nitrogen. Magnesium is probably actually a combination, but I mean, they're doing pretty good. I mean, look at that lettuce. We're actually starting to get some peppers. These bell peppers coming in. So, I just planted some of those little bush tomatoes. Supposed to get 20 inches tall, so we'll see how that goes. But they're all growing good. I just think I need some more fish in there to poop a little more. And uh, other tanks kicking. Uh, Ninja died. We're not going to get any more of those bug eyed fish because apparently these things eat all the food before they can get to it or something. And we just haven't had much luck with them. So but all the other ones are doing just fine, eating like crazy system is doing great uh, up here got the strawberries there's a little lettuce in there but a couple of the strawberries have come up and now I planted some of those dwarf sunflower plants I got a couple of those back there there's another one of those bush tomatoes planted some new lettuce um, these are looking a little farther along and chopped a bunch of the basil and the dill been eating that stuff in some of our meals so uh, we're getting ready I just ordered a whole bunch of seeds from the seed company it's about got all kind of new ones coming for the season for the farmers market we got Cherokee purples coming Paul Robinson chocolate cherry tomatoes all kinds of stuff I'll update you with as soon as we get planting so, uh, oh yeah, and then the worm bin, I think I showed in a couple videos ago, it's going good. I just recycle all the food scraps, coffee, grinds, pretty much all the waste from this grow room in there. And, uh, let's see, dig through there. It's doing pretty good. Might have to order a little more worms, but I think they're starting to multiply. Let's see if we can get down in there. You can see them. There's some worms. Anyway, that thing's going good. And uh, let's go outside for a sec. So I've decided to do the uh, these containers out here again this year. I'm just going to spread them apart this year, so instead of having 60 something, I'm thinking about having like 14. I'm just going to have one container pretty much per 8 foot row of fence right here. This zucchini was the one from in there. I planted it out here. It might die off, but I don't know. We'll see. And uh, I've got to move these, space them out a little more, but I'm going to grow the tomatoes cucumbers uh, I don't know we'll have fun with it a couple different trellising varieties up here on the fence and we'll be running it on this drip system like we did last year you just plug right in the ground and that'll take care of all the water in from that rain barrel that's about it this is the last thing I was going to show you is this raised bed that I made I put all the uh soil and stuff from last year and compost in there and we're gonna
try growing in that we'll probably do some tomato plants it's a 10 foot by 10 foot and i'm going to put another one right here next to it so we're going to use that try that method out see how it works i'm sure it'll work just fine but anyway that's about it thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon